symmetry line symmetry or linear symmetry any figure which is identical on either side of a line in it is said to be symmetrical and the line about which the figure is symmetrical is called the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry and the figure is said to have line of symmetry or linear symmetry a line symmetry is also called as a reflection symmetry because the figure coincides with its image on the other side of the line we can check whether a given figure is symmetrical about a line in it or not fold the figure about that line if the part of the figure which lies on one side of the line exactly coincides with the part of the figure on the other side of the line then the figure is symmetrical about that line now we can define line symmetry as follows definition a figure is said to have line symmetry if there exists at least one line in the figure such that on folding the figure about this line the two parts of it exactly coincide symmetry let us consider a rectangular piece of cardboard and draw the letter s as shown in the figure below name the turning point in s as o lesser let us insert a ball pin through o and rotate the letter s through 180 degree we will observe that there is no change in the shape of the letter the figure remains invariant that is it looks exactly the same as before this symmetry along a point is called the point symmetry circumstances we say that the figure is having point symmetry about the point o now point symmetry can be defined as follows definition a figure is said to have a point symmetry about a point o if every line segment from the boundary of the figure bisected by o or if the figure remains invariant under rotation about o through 180 degree then the point o is called the center of symmetry some examples of point symmetry 1 a parallelogram has a point symmetry about the point o which is the point of intersection of the diagonals 2 A circle has a point symmetry about its center. Three, the letter H has one point symmetry. Image of a point about a line. Take a thick smooth paper and draw a line L on it. Take a prominent point R. Now, erect a plane mirror along the line and look through it. You will then see another point R dash behind the mirror. What do you call the point R dash? You call it a image of R. P dash is the image of the point R. about the line l and vice versa fix the position of r dash by the method of ball pins then remove the mirror and join r r dash measure the perpendicular distance of r and r dash from l you will find that r r dash is bisected by l and l is perpendicular bisector of r r dash you can also understand that r and r dash are the symmetrical points about the line l the the symmetric property is satisfied with respect to r and r dash if r dash is the image of r and r is the image of r dash such pair of points are called symmetric points we also say that r and r dash are symmetrically placed with respect to each other line segment about a line take a smooth thick rectangular piece of paper and draw a line l on it draw a line segment ab on one side of the line erect a plane mirror along l fix the point a dash and b dash the image of a and b respectively join a dash b dash then a dash b dash is called the image of the line segment of ab major ab and a dash b dash you will notice that ab is equal to a dash b dash remove the mirror and fold the paper along l You will certainly find that the line segment AB exactly coincide with the line segment A dash B dash. Thus, AB and A dash B dash will be symmetrical about the line L. Now, the definition of the image of a line segment can be given as below. Definition: The image of a line segment AB about a line L is said to be the line segment A dash B dash if AB and A dash B dash are symmetrical about the line.